I'm Pat Pellison, a Salesforce Platform Developer Evangelist. This short video shows how applications can now use OAuth 2 to authenticate portal users. Now, what I've got here is uh, a Java web application, Spring MVC, uh, that I've created with the Heroku Eclipse temp, uh, plugin. Now, all I've done is I've changed it from the default uh, contacts to use cases. So uh, here we are, instead of getting first name, last name, email for contacts, I'm just getting subject, priority, and type for case, just to make it a bit more specific to a uh, customer portal. Now, what I've done in the app is, apart from that change, I have made it uh, get its endpoint from the environment because we're no longer going to be using uh, login.salesforce.com. And I've set that endpoint to uh, this, auth test developer edition and a14.force.com. So this is the uh, secure site URL for um, a force.com site associated with a customer portal. So what's going to happen is when I hit the link to go to my cases page, it's going to need a token to call the API, run that query and get back a list of cases. So uh, let's see what happens. I've uh, revoked all um, applications and logged out from everywhere. So we should see the whole flow here. So I'm at the portal login screen. This is my custom portal login page. Uh, as you can see from the URL, I'm, I'm at the site. And if I hit login with Facebook, what should happen is I go to Facebook and now it's, it's prompting me for this login. Um, my uh, portal needs my email address, basic information. So I'm going to go ahead with that. So that'll take me back to the portal. And then in turn, I should see um, this screen asking me to uh, give permission for the app to access uh, the APIs on my behalf. So I surely want to allow that. And then I'm uh, in the um, application running on Heroku. And there, it's run a query. It's pulled back all these cases that have just been created. They're just test cases in a, a developer edition customer portal. Now, what I can do, that that's really the... Um, the starting case, you know, um, we don't have to go through all of those steps every time. And I can show you a more realistic uh, scenario here. If I log out of the application itself, and uh, of course I'm now logged into the customer portal, so I'll log out of that. So just imagine I'm some user coming along, wanting to hit this application, and I'm logged into Facebook as many people are 24 seven. But if I hit the cases page, now uh, the portal needs to log me in. I just have to click to say, log in with Facebook. And then the whole process proceeds from there. You see a bit of flickering in the address bar, but then I'm into the app and I'm working on my cases within this uh, Java web app. So there we have it. It's now possible to authenticate uh, portal users with OAuth 2 and uh, do this kind of two hops from your app to the customer portal and from uh, the portal in Salesforce over to Facebook if that's where your users have their accounts. Okay, thank you very much for watching.